That there's a span gasket leak. Oh man, I left my truck in drive. Let's go get it. Works out pretty good. Let's hop on in it. Well, that was fun. I just undone the filter. Uh-huh. We let the tank drain after lunch. Jeff. I laid it on the tire. Another one bites the dust. So we are officially done with our little six row headline rig, as we call it, that sprays directly where the peanuts are. So now we're unhooking this and we're headed to hook up the 24 row lift type sprayer. So we're uh, able to cover a lot more ground. It's got a 400 gallon tank. So doing 15 gallons per acre, that puts us around 26, 27 acres per tank. And we're, oh, here it is. All right, let me help Jeff get this hooked up. got it hooked up now I'm going here where you can hear me and shut the door so what Jeff is doing now is we've got a measuring cup and he's gonna catch out of one tip for 30 seconds and we want around uh, 19 ounces to make our tank work out right all right if I can get out of here good yeah. high five yeah, yeah. all right well we are headed to the store to get some chemicals Hey Bailey. Hey mom, what you doing? Hey Jim. Dad still got you in here working? Pay your bills. Good oh, gracious. That's all I had, all I get to do. All right, good luck. Thank you. We'll see you. All right, we're headed out. All right. Appreciate it. Okay, Jimbo. Hey. We'll see you. What? It's off. <laughs> all right, well me and Jeff just took a break for farming to get us some snow cones, or shaved ice I should shaved say. Ice, shaved ice, and uh, tell us about this business you got. Uh, we're out of Blountstown, uh, Florida. We've been open for two and a half years. We the travel, best shaved ice around. The yeah. best shaved ice. We travel around all over the place, okay. Port St. Joe, Blountstown, Mariana. All right, well, y'all check them out. Shaved ice. All right, Jeff, well, I say let's take a good, what, 30 to 45 minute break and eat this shaved ice? Yeah, and then go home. And then go, because we're going to have a brain freeze. What flavor would you get? USA, because... I'm patriotic. Heck yeah. It Just almost feels like I'm not in the middle of a cotton field right exactly. now. Exactly. Speaking of, we got a pretty good burn on this cotton. Remember Kmart had the, um, like the slushy? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. We arrived in Shipley Hospital. The, the, the best one. part, though, is they had a Mortal Kombat arcade machine. Just got it loaded up, and we are back to spraying peanuts. We have got the 24-row rig. Uh, set up and this particular field here. We're spraying uh, three chemicals cadre 24 DB and Dual who wants to see some drone footage Everybody, it's Thursday. It's my Friday. I get to take Friday off. Using them. this wide sprayer, you got to pay real close attention. You can't be on your phone watching YouTube videos on Field Road. Check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna get back to the Field Rose podcast. Welcome to the Field Road. Oh, these gnats are terrible. And I'm here with my kiddos. They're riding around with me this morning. And I'm about to start pumping some nitrogen, so I've got the KBH tank loaded up and going to start pumping nitrogen for the first time on this cotton. We usually pump uh, pretty early. This cotton's just over a month old, so we'll put around uh, 10 gallons, so that gives us 30 units out here and kind of go ahead and give it a quick start. We don't put out any pop-up or anything like that. Girls, y'all want to say anything? Uh-oh. The gnats are terrible. The gnats are terrible. Gnats. Subscribe to the gnats! What was it? You did this though. A thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Ellie Rose? Oh, she's got my AirPod. Oh, okay. don't let her lose those. There we go. 
And it's moving. That's good. Good sign. Oh, you got a gnat on your nose. Woo. I show people. Oh, what happened? You got a gnat on you too. Bless her little heart. She fell and hit her tooth, and now it's turning gray. Always something. Always something. All right, we ran into a bit of a snag on our loader. We had uh, four lines that were just on the verge of really just coming apart. Well, Keithy went to the store, got the four lines, made up some new ones, and now he's putting on there. the new ones. There. All right, Keithy got it fixed. He's headed to take this to the field, and I'm gonna swing by and pick him up. We're gonna start spreading gypsum at a different field called Jeff's. I wouldn't know how to act on a farm if everything didn't break at some point. A lot of our days is spent fixing stuff. But that's just part of it. I guess every job has its ups and downs and that's definitely one of the downside to farming. Well, besides the price of the crops would be just the struggle to keep things running from irrigation. Well, I was talking about earlier when things don't go right. Well, here we are. Irrigation pivot tire has completely came off the rim. You're right, we still got a tube. We could probably salvage that. Oh yeah, I think we'll uh, patch it. And she'll, she'll be good to go. We got the lift coming. I'll tell you, I was wrong. What is it? Seven eighths. Yes. <laughs> yes. Should I have a seven eighths in that other set? No, you won't. No, no won't. three quarters. Yeah, I could probably get a regular on there. It probably I could probably make it work. Bring the whole thing out here. Yeah, that's more. <laughs> Closer. Your socket though. Don't miss working on pivots. Yeah, you having flashbacks from putting everything back together from Hurricane Michael. Get out of here. There we go. This tire looks a little better than the other one. All right, tire's on. Go ahead and let her down there, Kyle. Takes two guys to carry that. All right, I got the. <laughs> Kyle, I'm doing something here. I'm here. I'm here. All right, we got the tire on. Went pretty easy, especially since we have a lift. It makes it a heck of a lot easier. And now I'm headed to the pivot point. I'm gonna get it to walk, and then Jeff and Kyle gonna tell me uh, whether it's walking or not. Right. Go, Go team. team. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, she's moving. We got it walking, got the tire changed. Normally I'd just really stay in there and let the water get on me, cool me down. But unfortunately, putting out nitrogen with it. All right, folks. Well, we got her back going and you can tell the valley pivot is up and running. You'll notice the valley sign has been broke off. That's because this pivot was actually turned upside down when Hurricane Michael hit. But thankfully to Keithy and the guys, we got it back going. And she lives to walk another day. Time to get back to work. This gypsum, we're gonna raise it up to six inches. Oh, that must that feels good. Bumping speed over up here. About seven and a half mile an hour, which is uh, like 13th gear, but I'm only running like 1500, below 1500 RPM. Oh boy, you're very wounded. <laughs> y'all on y'all's farms but they put these things out on our farm out in the middle of the dead blank field for no daggum apparent reason the boss calls them pivot stops out in the middle of a dang field there ain't nothing around in this field besides me and the tractor so-called pivot stop. That ain't no pivot stop. That right there, my friends, is an alarm clock. Judging by the John Deere green paint, the massive dents, the cracks, and all the bent there is in there, it's doing its job. It done woke somebody up. Cause I can promise you, you hit that on a tractor, 
You ain't sleeping through that. They'll wake you up and you hit them.